Hello everyone, welcome to the speedtricks.net session. Here today I am going to tell you how to use session inside the speed.net core application. So before going to proceed, I just want to tell you that in my previous sessions I explored that how to deploy the speed.net core 2.0 application inside the IAS. So for it, you can go to the YouTube channel and YouTube. Uh, on YouTube, you have to search ASPTRICKS, 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 and then you will find on the top of the teacher one channel. Just clicking on it, you will find the deploy ASP.NET Core 2.0 application inside IIS. So, the same demo I am going to proceed here is so uh, uh, what I have done I have the local project of ASP.NET Core 2.0 application and I am going to run it. I just I will try to find out the sp.net core session the Google's we will found on the top of the result Microsoft Office websites in which it's described that how to configure session so the, the Microsoft sp.net core session package provides the middleware for the managing session stage. So what we need to do, I am just copying it and I am trying to find out in the Google package. So for the applications, I right clicked and see Microsoft SP.NET Core 2.0 install so now what I have to do again I am going to uh, the official website of the Microsoft and I am just going to use these two syntax it says that the add distributed memory cache enables us to use the default in-memory implementation so if we will use the add distributed memory cache what will be happen it will use the in processor mode for the application so I'm going to add these two lines over here and again I'm going to add in session so here I just use use session now by using these middlewares we can easily use the session inside the application so for this I'm going to index dot css tml and here in index css tml dot css what we have to do we can write the code over here to check the session like uh, http context dot session dot set string and I'm going to add a name key with the string value name Rajkumar and now I'm going to add a view data name and I'm going to set the value 
which will retrieve the data from the session. Job and now here we have to use get string. So I'm just adding the key here name. So this is the name which is key and this is the name which is key and now in the view data I have set it name the same view data I am going to add on CSHTML page so here session By clicking on IIS space, I just build the application. It will browse a page. It's all about the session in the sp.net code where by using uh, these two lines you can configure your application to access in memory implementation of i distributed cache. To know more about i distributed caches, you need to know how to use sticky session which can be shared among the application. This is all about the different story but initially by using these implementations at least your application should be handled session data and you can manage easily your session data thank you